So Audubon creates the Birds of America. And upstairs you can see some extraordinary examples of the individual pages from Birds of America. So this is created between 1826 and 1839, takes about 13 years to complete this massive work. And if we can go to the next slide, and the next, and stop there, okay. So what's extraordinary about this just as a, as, as a piece of art? Number one, he is gonna use the largest size page available because he's gonna make every bird life size. And as you go up in the gallery today and you look at those birds, those are life size. That's why he chose that particular piece of paper. And he's the first artist to really do this. So that's an extraordinary thing. He's going to do 435 individual prints. You'll see some of those on, on the walls of the galleries. But that, imagine that. 435 prints and that all of these would end up having to be hand colored because there was no color printing process at the time. If we can go to the next one. So this is a, a wonderful piece that is in our collection. This shows an early sort of printer's proof, if you will, of a piece that Audubon was working on. Now, why was it so important for Audubon to oversee the process? Because he had painted all of these birds of North America, and yet the printing is happening in England. And so he really needed to make sure that the red of the cardinal was the right red, that the other colors and details of some of these birds were correct, because many of these species had never been, been seen by the Europeans who would be putting together the book and doing the paintings. <laughs> if we can go to the next. So as I mentioned, they're extraordinarily large page sizes. So what Audubon does, and this is the common practice of the time, is that if you're going to put together a big book, you want to kind of know that someone's going to buy it. It's not, they didn't have bookstores in the way that we have them today. And so it was more common that someone would, would put together this effort and go out and say, do you want to buy this subscription? Let me show you an example of the work. And he would get all of these subscribers. He would end up with about 200 subscribers to Birds of America. Uh, now, another interesting fact is that um, he would not copyright Birds of America. Uh, and one of the reasons is that he didn't want to have to give up copies because there were certain numbers of, of copies of the publication that would have been required in order to receive copyright. So none of the images were actually ever copyrighted. And uh, we just the, you see that there, that the price of a subscription was $1,000. If we can go to the next. So what he did was to ship these out over this 13-year period and in groups of five. Now, he was, again, very smart about how he did this because he wasn't going to give you all of those really big, fantastic birds in one grouping. You'd only get one. You'd get one large bird, you'd get one medium bird, and you'd get three of the smaller birds. And so that was one way so that you'd get it and you'd think, oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. It was full of rich color and detail. And not that the smaller birds aren't as beautiful in their own way, but it was the big birds that would really wow people. And in fact, today, if you looked at the price of Audubon prints today as well, it's those big prints that will get the most amount of money at an auction. Now, when you got them, when you received them, you received them unbound. The only way they became the books, the Birds of America, was because you as a subscriber chose to bind them. And in most cases, people bound them in these four volumes. And so you often hear the four volumes of Birds of America. Biggest page weighs a lot about 50 pounds per book. And so it's an extraordinary effort that, that's put forward. And um, if we can go to the next slide, it's something that kings want. So these are just a couple of the subscribers of Birds of America. And this is in Europe. 
because again, he tried to get it printed in the US and no one would print it for a variety of reasons. He had to go over to, to England. So most of his early subscribers were also English, the, the King of England, the King of France. Um, and these images, you can just get a sense of just the sheer size of the book.